in this video I would like to demonstrate you the new the latest and the headless framework that's been provided from Shopify it's called the hydrogen it's in a react base and I think without any further delay let's gonna start this demonstration okay you're gonna check what exactly this hydrogen are asking for the first thing is it requires us to install the new GS and npm so I'm using a Linux environment it's a Ubuntu 22 edition so in Ubuntu we have this available utility it's called the snaps store so in snap stores in some cases if the the apps that you are looking for is not available then you have to update your snap it should be in up to date so what I have to do here is to search this node.js so I'm gonna say node and let's install this apps alright so now let's check on my local environment if the node is already available okay so we have the version 18 and we also need the npm along the way when you're going to install the new gs then npm will also be available okay it's there so i think we are ready to go so the first line that you need to execute is this command you have to initialize this project by executing this command we have also available in px yarn and pnpm pnpm so we're gonna execute this npm we're gonna open my visual studio code open the terminal then i think i have to locate on my folder it's a Shopify hydrogen project and then it's a little bit a uh, little bit delayed now let's go back again node v if it's there okay so I gonna do this like executing npm init at Shopify hydrogen enter so in the first choices are the template so if you're preferred to have the this uh, project that has and the other pre-added uh, templates like your store assets and components then you have to choose the demo store but if you want the start from the scratch then you have to say hello world so as this demo I am gonna use the demo store there are also choices if you want a typescript then you can choose typescript but if you want a javascript then you can choose the javascript okay so there's here a name your new hydrogen storefront so if you want to leave the same name then it's okay if you want a customized name then you have to specify that okay so now it's downloading and I think in this point it will take a little bit more longer so probably we're gonna push this video then let's go back later okay so here we are again and now I think it's already done installing this deficiencies are completed and now it's also initialized the git repository so let's try to grab that status git start okay so I'm not in the exact directory so sometimes if you are mistakenly run this this uh, command then what happiness you are not in uh, the exact location or the folder so what we have to do here is to open that folder again on this hydrogen apps folder okay so again sometimes you're if you notice this pop-up screen at the bottom of the right corner uh, there are other mm, what we call this uh, 
extensions then you can do that as well but in some parts that uh, is asking for uh, the div container the div container is required if you want to build up your hydrogen apps with your own in infrastructure like a docker or it will be on an external server all right so i think we're gonna try again just npm run div so it says that npm run div if you want to run this in your local environment Alright, I think there's no error. So probably we made it properly. So let's look at back there. Boom, it works. So now you see here this is the stir front using the hydrogen framework. And if you will see here these images are based on our hydrogen configuration. Uh, we're gonna look at this file and uh, this file it's pointing to this apps ah sorry in the domain and the token was also based on this domain so now later we're gonna work out how we can uh, do this using our, our own store so now what we need to do is to start it using our store let's go to to our Shopify plus okay in this video I think this at uh, the time that uh, the hydrogen is not yet available on different subscription except the Shopify plus so at this moment hydrogen is only available channel in Shopify plus so let's no further delay we're gonna start it again on this store okay what we need to do here is to install the additional channel for hydrogen into your store so we're gonna search that hydrogen it's here then add it okay add this into your sales channel okay so we're gonna create our own store now in building your own hydrogen storefront it requires us to build up your, our own repository using github so it's being integrated with this github account so what we have to do here is to create a new repository to our get click new then I will say hydrogen demo tutorial okay I will set this a public then create the repository then once it is created then let's go back to the store and I will connect to that existing repository so now it is being uh, integrated with my repository but if you want to add then you can add account so I'm gonna select this then I think the one that I created is not yet permitted so you're gonna s change the permission scroll down then here select the repository where is the one here you're gonna save then go back to the store then you're gonna refresh it again just to make it sure that everything is working well connect select it's here so connect that all right so there's an error it seems that we have to build our first branch of this repository so look at that let's go back to the hydrogen tutorial repository so we don't have files added yet so that's the reason why it says here that doesn't have a default branch okay so I think we need to add this branch to our existing repo then in the time that you are created earlier your hydrogen props 
then is being initialized to cre create this git branch in your own local you're gonna see git branch if it's there okay so it's there so what we have is just to add this uh, remote branch to our local branch I'm gonna paste that then go back then update or add your git URL paste git remote add origin URL enter then we're gonna push those files from our local all of these files should be added on our repository run okay now I think it should be added here so you're gonna refresh it if it's alright so it's six it's existing now so I think it's already added now let's go back to our store then I think we have to refresh it again create store connect select hydrogen connect okay so it works so at this time it's now uploading those files to your oxygen server then it's also creating another branch and now it is requested to pull out that changes but at this moment since that I am working with my local I don't want to post this until it will be finished my project because I need to run this environment in my uh, in my local so this domain public store is telling us that it is only pointing to our oxygen so I don't want to do that for now but as of this moment I will just uh, let this project run into my local but anyway you can still run it in this hydrogen store so we're gonna look at that later after it is being done okay so it's still in progress we're gonna post this and let's go back in a few later moments alright so here we are again now it is done and it's already added in the oxygen server so if you are trying to review the repository if you're gonna look at the pull request was added and if you're gonna look at that what changes they made it's added this uh, oxygen deployment file and the hydrogen config was also modified so if you see here that it is pointing to this variable but the variable it's not it's not based on our local so that's the reason why I did not add it yet until it is really ready to go so at this moment we have to configure our hydrogen config with a defined static value so let's go back to our store created then now the store part settings storefront API copy this go back to your BS code then I gonna replace this uh, API because this API token is pointing to this uh, URL now I want to use the API from the store then I have to add this value as well on this line remove the extra slash remove the HTTPS then save now I going to expect that all of those changes is based on my store so if you look at the the pre-added configuration this is printing to hydrogen my shopify.com it is selling this snowboard and other products but since that I already changed it to my own store then I will be expecting that it will display all my products as well so let's try let's gonna run this into our environment sorry click then npm run div 
okay so let's go back then we're gonna refresh that it will automatically refresh we're gonna wait okay now this time it is displayed what products that I have in my store so I think everything is working well aside from the images so the images uh, that might be take up in the next video so some of the issues here that I basically found that uh, need more works to be done like the the navigation sub menu it's not displaying in in a pop-up behavior like this this is the first issue that I found like if I were gonna click the product then I want to add then I would expect that this container this cart pop up will also be automatically displayed but at this time it won't it's just it's just making some number of items added to the cart so this is the few things that I found in the pre-added store configuration but I think you can work more on about that and how you were going to do this thing in your own project but in the next video I'm gonna take up all those things and probably gonna add more sections on the video on the video next next time like in the feature collections and other things that I excited to add more okay then I think the other things that I might forgot is that if you are going to deploy then you have to pull this oxygen it might be the final steps that this store will be live but at this moment I think you can preview this URL and your oxygen but some some things that it might be in private let's try to check it here I'm gonna put into public store environment okay review all store general environment I think I forgot to set this to set this uh, store as public and I think I did not I did not notice yet how to change that settings on this part I think that's all and I think you enjoy this video and hope it helps you to start your project using the hydrogen framework and hopefully we're gonna see each other again thank you bye for now